Day two. This is a good one, everybody. Getting over either or. Why do binaries exist? What are the impacts on lives and bodies? Julie Graham was taught to rely on binary choices for understanding the world, for clarity and certainty, even or especially when they are false. Over the years, her comfortable binaries started crumbling, and with them a foundational way of encountering the world. These binaries exclu excluded so many. They erased or denied so many friends' stories, identities, histories, and complexities, she says. Jesus regularly challenges our set ideas of who is right and wrong, who is in and out. Graham says her culture, which is also Canada's dominant culture, has done an excellent and thorough job of forcing Jesus into a binary box. But why? Those binaries make less and less sense. She says, as a white kid growing up in, in majority white churches where white people occupied all the positions of authority, the binary good-bad of scripture was just another part of the stage set. Either or was our reading of scripture, including what I have since come to see as profoundly disrespectful and poorly informed misreading of Jewish scriptures. She said, I was taught to rely on binary choices for understanding the world. for clarity and certainty, even or especially when they are false, when the path forward is not an either or choice, but instead something much more complex. As par part of our 40 days of engagement on anti-racism journey, join Graham's challenge to recognize and fight against either or thinking. Read her reflection at the link that we're gonna give, that we're gonna provide. Um, and there's lots of deep, wonderful information there and ways to journal and things to to note in your in your on your own reflection time uh, today's faith reflection where do you find resources and spaces to expand your love of god's fiercely complex world today's children's activity is use drawing to explore and challenge binaries today's group commitment is while working in groups remind yourself that more than one thing can be true at the same time and today's advocacy is identify the false binaries most commonly used in your faith community, workplace, school, and family. All right, everybody, take care.